All right, everybody, it's Phil Collins and Susu Studio. What was that song? That was one of the dumber Phil Collins songs. Susu Studio. <laughs> Sue me. Sue. Suing people. You know, lawyers run the world, okay? Especially, lawyers definitely run this country. They probably run the world. That's it. Just, that's it. Face it. That's, that's who runs everything. They run politics. They run the courts. They run everything. The police, the lawyers, lawyers run everything. They run corporations. They run the government. They, you know, all the politicians, almost every politician is a lawyer. So go look it up. It's true. <laughs> almost every, 90%, 99% of politicians are lawyers. So they all are lawyers. Everybody's a lawyer. Everybody wants to sue. You know, and we were talking, the people have been talking lately about what's going on with uh, Jamie Enigmatic Pneumatics and the van build. You know, he was going to have a van build, uh, what was it, last year when he was over in Georgia and he cleared land and it never happened. And then he was going to have a van build in Indiana. That never happened. And then he was going to, then he went back out west again and he was going to have another van build sometime this year, maybe, or not this year, but well, he was going to have a van build this year, people thought, you know, maybe out west and that never happened. And then he said, oh no, maybe it'll be in 2022 out in Merced at some, you know, disused former Air Force base or Army base or whatever, military base. And he, you know, he had a whole bunch of plans. He was going to have, you know, fancy schmancy, you know, they were going to have stand-up comedians and rock bands and $600 admission fees for whatever, a multi-day event with seminars and everything else. You know, pipe dreams. And then they, then he announced that he's going to scale it all back and move it somewhere further down to South, uh, Southern California and, uh, Bada bing. And then he said he was going to be selling tickets for it by November. And then November came and went and nothing happened. So, so what do you think's going on? You know, Jamie is a cool cat. He, you know, he's a cool channel, Enigmatic Nomadics. And he did the van build in Parker for many years there, usually in the fall, usually in November, as everybody was coming down to Quartzsite for the winter, the snowbirds, they'd all hang out in Parker or someplace and have a nice van build. Well, the last van build he did was 2019. And it was a pretty big event. I mean, a lot of people were there. You know, it was a pretty big, you know, I'd say many, many hundreds of people showed up for that event. Now, not all of them went actually paid the admission fee. It was, it was people were screaming. I think he wanted like $100 or something like that or $75. And people were screaming really bloody murder that this should be free and baba da boo. But anyway, a lot of people camped outside the technical the, the area there where the van build was. And there was a lot of people there. You know, now you, you wonder what's going on and, you know, uh, you know, I think we're seeing a, a, something going on with lawyers, 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 guns and money. You know, what's going on now is when you have one of these events, you got to you got to be careful because you could get S.U.E.D. sued. That's why I let off with Sue Sue Studio, Sue Sue Studio from Phil Collins there. Right here on 95.7 The Ride, WXRC, Hickory. That's our cool classic rock station here. <laughs> Find them on the internet. Anyway, Jamie's got to worry about that because number one, okay, say someone's at this van build, okay, and they there's a hole in the ground and they trip and they fall and they crack their noggin open and they have to go to the hospital and a brain surgery, okay? They're going to sue you. Even though technically you didn't do anything wrong, they tripped on and in a hole, they, you know, or, or, or somebody has a heart attack and, and they don't have easy access. It takes two hours for the ambulance to come because you're out in the middle of nowhere. Um, you know, there's a lot of reasons why somebody could sue you that isn't directly related to something you did. You know, it's just that you had an event you didn't have proper EMS people there. You didn't make sure there were no holes in the ground. A tree, well, you're not going to have too many trees in wherever Parker or Merced, but, you know, a wind, wind could come and knock you down. Somebody's vehicle could come, you know, maybe somebody, maybe uh, somebody's vehicle came by and blew dust in you and you breathed it in and you got a lung infection. Now you want to sue somebody. There's a whole lot of reasons why people could sue you. So Jamie's got to realize insurance. You gotta have insurance, liability, protection. You know, that's an expensive thing. And then Cheap RV Living Bob's talking about that a while back. You know, you used to have the RTR. You actually had a designated area. 
you know, where you had to pay, you know, pay a fee and he was regulating everything. And, you know, first off, the, the, the place where you're having the event also has to cover their butt, okay? So the BLM land has to cover its butt because it could get sued. You know, the wash, somebody trips in the wash and, you know, breaks their coccyx or something. You know, they could sue you. They could sue the, oh, you know, they could sue Bob. They could sue Howa. They could sue whatever. Just see if they could get money. L lawyers, lawyers, lawyers. You, you see these events like Astroworld down in Houston, this big giant concert where a bunch of people got crushed to death. You know, it wasn't a day or two before, boom, 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 lawyers are filing suits against whoever. They're suing the city, they're suing Houston, they're suing the concert promoters, they're suing the you know, event organizer, they're suing the talent, they're suing the, you know, the, the you know, the wherever the arena was, you know, and they're just going to sue everybody. And eventually they'll get, set. they may not win in court, they may just get settlements and insurance companies are involved and all this other stuff. So, you know, it's a, it's a big hassle. And I think Jamie's just realizing, you know, when it's okay, when it's a little event with a couple dozen people and you can do it unofficially, that's one thing, you know, but when you start to get into hundreds of people coming and, you know, you're, you're paying fees for, to rent, you know, event space whether it's the Air Force that military base or, or BLM land or whatever. The BLM wanted like $60,000 or something, some incredible amount of money for that last RTR. So that's why Bob kind of pulled out at doing that. He still has the seminars, Cheap RV Living Bob. People are asking me about what's going on with the RTR this year. They're, they're not going to officially have an RTR, but you can still go down the BLM land on your own and camp there and, and call it whatever you want to do. Anyway, so I think one of the big reasons that Jamie is not, or at least is, is kind of this delay that's kind of happening, is that the art that his van build has gotten way too big, way too bureaucratic, and he's realizing all the stuff you have to do now in order to have an event like that. Insurance, you know, rent payments, uh, this and that, event insurance. What are, what are all the people that buy tickets, what are they going to do? They pay the $600 to come to this event, which is months away, and then something happens that the event isn't happening. Then you got to refund all the money and that to do do, and people could maybe even sue you for that. And there's, a, you know, lawyers... <laughs> lawyers, lawyers, lawyers. So I, you know, will there be a van build in the future? Like, I don't know. I think unofficially we could have a little van build. If, you know, just come on this particular property, come to this BLM land and we'll do a little van building and stuff like that. But I think we're getting to the point now in our corporate litigious society where these and these plus with these events getting hundreds of thousands of people coming that you know it's going to it's going to be a big deal to to set these things up and have them you know just because of the the legal reasons and the insurance reasons and the big word liability it's a big deal you promised this and you didn't deliver i'm suing you oh yeah <laughs> So anyway, you want to talk about it? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? It's a shame because I think Jamie's last van build a couple years ago there in Parker was a, was a great event. But I think even that kind of got out of his control and a little too big. And with the, the way things are growing in the uh, nomadic community these days, you know, the next van build could be thousands of people, you know, and all it takes is a couple of lawsuits, you know. I don't know, man. And, uh, you know, I don't know. You know, again, Jamie's not probably a terribly wealthy man, so there's probably not a lot to sue him for. But, you know, he's going to have to get insurance and he's going to have to get, you know, sign a deal with the, with wherever the uh, place it's holding, you know, where he's staging the event. And they're going to need insurance and they're going to need funds and everybody's got to cover their butts. And uh, I think we're probably seeing the last of the big van builds. You know, little informal things going on now and then. That's probably still going to happen. But uh, I think Jamie's kind of gotten, you know, you know, he, he has some good ideas. He has some interesting ideas for a van build. But reality and the litigious nature of the good old US of A in 2021, 22 has probably gotten the best of him. So we'll see. I could be wrong, but I'm probably not. Log under.